Okay. Hey guys, Bartolo Colon here with another crazy, uh, crazy video. You guys are in for a treat because I've heard a lot of you guys say, hey Piggy, we're tired of the card stuff. When are you gonna show us some coin magic? Well, well, first of all, I shut up. You don't know what you want. Uh, you, you don't know what you want. I know what you want. And you want some coin magic. So today I'm gonna to show you guys some coin magic. But before anything, you guys should totally uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to look at the description uh, for some, some links. You got some hot links there. Patreon, Card Academy, right? Doing some hot stuff there. Pickcake.me, you guys got some hot, hot products there you guys can check out. Um, well, anyways, for this, we're actually gonna need a little bit of a, of a coin. If you guys haven't noticed, this is one of those super edgy illusionist coins. Uh, you, you could see the designs on it are designed to pretty much bring even the uh, highest edge lords to uh, to their knees. But uh, actually inside, we could actually get a pen inside of it, which is kind of a dope thing. But um, we need a coin, we, we need the coin. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, well, here's actually a little bit of a display of my skill because I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but this is one of those things that magicians show. Oh yeah, look at that skill, boy. Look at that skill. But I know what you're saying, that's not magic. Uh, show me some magic, Piggy. Um, well, I, if the coin actually uh, disappears, if you do it the right way. Uh, and then if you want, you can make the pen disappear, but that actually jumps to my to my pocket. I don't know if you've seen this, jumps to the pocket. And if you smell it, it could actually seem like the uh, coin comes from the pen cap. That's kind of, so that's a magic, right? That's a little bit of magic. So you want to know how that's done, eh? Well, you're going to need a, a, a pen and a coin uh, to do this amazing trick. And it's pretty much an excuse to be able to do this uh, false transfer sort of action from Bobo's coin magic. That's kind of what my, uh, what my motivation for this little routine. So it's not really much of a crazy routine, but it's something that you guys could do if you have a chopstick, a pen, uh, and a small coin or a, a lesbian, or pretty much something that you could easily uh, hide, hide in, your, in your palm. Um, so let's get right into it. You need a, a pen in your right pocket and a coin in your left pocket. You're gonna go, oh, for this, I need a, a coin. I need to show you the super edgy coin. You're gonna reach into your pocket. I'm palming the pen here. You see the, the grip here? This is the hot grip. It's, it's not much of a, it's not like a, I'm just literally holding it in my hand so you don't see it from the other side. It's not really a palm. It's just a thing. It's, hold, it's being in my hand. As I put attention to the coin. So you see the, the action here, I'm bringing attention to the coin. And I'm saying, look at this. This is one of those trendy illusionist coins you've seen on the market. Uh, if you look close enough, the, the eagle is actually holding a pen. Uh, but this is a coin trick. So that's a little dumb sequence here. All I'm doing is that I'm dropping the coin as I'm pulling the pen. So you see this from the bad angle. I'm dropping the coin as I'm pulling the pen. Not really anything, it's not move. I'm not doing a spell bound with the, the coin. I'm, I'm just dropping the coin and pulling out the pen and drawing attention to it. And then when the attention's on the pen, I just bring the coin up to my fingertips and tap it. And I, as I say, oh, but this, this is a coin trick. This is a coin trick. So, um, so in action, the sequence just looks like, hey, have you seen one of these? Uh, Uh, hey, have you seen one of these uh, trendy illusionist coins? Yeah, they're the ones with the eagle holding a, a Sharpie marker on it. Uh, but this isn't a Sharpie trick, this is a, a coin trick. So uh, if you want, you could check those, check those out. And from there you proceed to the next bit, which uh, you're putting the pen underneath your left armpit as you, uh, you do the, uh, the pretty much a bluff here. You're gonna pick the coin up generally, but you're gonna do it in the same way as you're gonna pick it up later. Uh, and you're gonna do whatever flourish you want. Here in this case, I'm gonna do a little bit of a hot coin roll. Uh, something that uh, is well beyond the scope of most of you guys, to be honest. Uh, but that's a good thing because that tells me that you guys haven't uh, spent years of isolation practicing this slight. Uh, but you do something with a coin in the right hand. It doesn't have to be a coin roll. You could just draw attention to it, talk about the eagle, talk about Brad Christian. But case in point, you're gonna put it uh, between your ring finger and your middle finger in preparation for this uh, false take move from Bobo's Coin Magic. So all that's gonna happen is you're gonna come in with your left hand. Your right hand is gonna turn as your left hand pretends to take the coin. That's all that's happening. So the right hand is turning and dropping down 
as the left hand mimes taking the coin. That's how it would usually be done in practice. Uh, so in this case, the reason to transfer the coin is to grab the one. You see that? That's why it's underneath your left armpit. So you're gonna pretend to take the coin. All I'm doing with my left hand is coming in, picking up nothing. My right hand comes down and is gonna go and reach for the pen. So in action, it should just look like that. That's what it should look like. Uh, you don't wanna make it look like it's like one of these convoluted sort of actions, but the transitive action here, as uh, Juan Tamaris would say, is that you are putting the coin in the hand so you could take the pen. So it's, it's a transitive action of putting the coin in the left hand so you could free up your hand to take the pen. And again, remember, I'm palming the coin as I'm holding the pen. If you want, you could do one of these little flourishy things as you are holding a coin. Again, you don't have to, but that's if you uh, have never seen a, a vagina. So here, uh, you're gonna tap nothing on your hand and say, uh, but actually it's kind of interesting because if you tap it, the coin uh, disappears. And all I do when I'm tapping my body, after I show the coin, I just tap my body, I just touch my pocket and I drop the coin in my pocket. That's, that's it. But because I'm wearing sweats, uh, if you're wearing slacks, this works as well. Jeans, not so much. So if you're wearing slacks, or sweats like I am because I'm in my house. I don't have to impress anybody. What am I gonna impress you, bitch? I don't care about you. I do care about you. You guys should subscribe and check out all the stuff in the description. So here, uh, I just ditch it. So the coin's in my palm. As I'm patting my body, I just ditch it in my, in my pocket and come up with empty hands. Uh, now, if you wanna continue, you could continue. You don't have to. You could just end it here and uh, have a little bit of a bow, right? A bow movement. Um, but if you want, you could do the flip stick vanish. Uh, that's just simply this. This little action right here, you do the flip stick vanish, make the pen disappear and say actually went inside my pocket. So I'm reaching into my pocket with the same hand with the pen. What I'm doing when I come out is that I'm palming the coin as I bring out the pen. You see that? That's, that's how I get back in this. So now at this point, with the same hand that's holding the coin, I uncap the pen and I go, look what happens if I smell the cap. If I smell the pen, sorry. If I smell the pen, it almost looks like the coin came from the cap. Right, but that's that's after uh, a lot of s smelling. So all that's happening there is uh, the coins in my pocket. I do the flip stick vanish. I go inside my pocket and say, "Oh, look, the, the pen actually went inside my pocket." I don't know if you saw that sort of action. And you know, it's interesting if I smell this long enough. All I'm doing here, holding the cap, letting it drop. That, that's all I'm doing. David Williamson, uh, David Roth, a whole bunch of people have some hot tips on that, but that's just all I'm doing. I'm not doing any sort of, I'm holding the cap and then I'm dropping the coin. That's, that's it. Um, so that's the little bit of a routine here. That's a little bit of a one pen, one coin routine. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a simplified routine, guys. Nothing too complicated. None of these uh, one coin routines. Look, it comes out of here and into here, but look, it goes back, it goes back. And if I, uh, if I grab it and throw it at my foot, it goes behind my foot. You, you see behind my foot, but it's really a, it's really a tight pot. Uh, so coin routines get a little bit too complicated. That's just a little thing with a coin and a pen that you guys could use. Um, do all the things that people do, man. Do all the things that people do. I'm gonna go figure out how Ric Flair survived uh, as long as he did with the diet that he consumed. Um, yeah. See you again when I see you again. When I see you again 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 When I see you again